this map I also like. It's probably my second favorite map. It makes me feel like uh, Far Cry 3, which is always a good thing. Oh. Drugs. Also, real bummer. Fish don't swim out of the fucking way when you swim toward them. Remember Call of Duty Ghosts and them advertising it as a major fucking selling point for their incredible technology? They fish don't swim out the way this time. How how we're downgrading? We're we're going backwards. We gotta prioritize certain stuff for a multiplayer side of things. But come on. Talk your race. If the fish don't swim out of the way, like how, how do I feel like I'm really on this battlefield? How can I truly feel immersed in the combat? Um, yeah, for folks who don't know, like they actually, for Call of Duty Ghosts, which came out in 2013, when these systems were launching, um, Enemy down. It, it was kind of a mid-tier game, because it was also, it was very much like PS3, 360 level tech, but they also, you know, had it running on PS4 and Xbox One, so, it was a dated look to it. Um, it didn't look bad, but it had a dated look to it. Um, and the game, like, I, I didn't end up playing Ghosts, but... From, my, from what I saw of it, the gameplay didn't look like the most exciting. Um, my brother liked it, though. Anyway, hilariously, in like the E3 demo, or like their like, live stream demos, they would actually point out in some underwater sequence that when you swam, the fish would sw swim out of like, your way. And like... Confirming kill for a 2013 video game, that's not a big fucking deal. It's not hard to have, like, fish move away from you. So it was just very silly that they were touting it as anything to, like, be proud of. This has going live. 